Friends, we are continuing in the book of Proverbs chapter 6 from verse 6 onwards and uh, quite a challenging and tough thought. Go to the ant, you sluggard. Uh, consider its ways and be wise. There's no commander, no overseer or ruler, yet it stores its provision in summer and gathers its food in harvest. How long will you lie there, you sluggard? When will you get up from your sleep? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest, and poverty will come on you like a bandit and scarcity like an armed man. Now, some of us are born into poverty. Some of us uh, have calamities in our lives and causes us to be poor. Uh, But none of us have an excuse not to work hard. And that's what Solomon is saying to us here as well, that if we just continue to fold our arms, if we continue just to be lazy and we don't get out there and we actually do work, we we apply ourselves, we will remain poor. I've seen so many people that have given up on just the simple idea of hard work. It says, how long will you lie there, you sluggard? Strong words that the Bible uses as well. Go to the ant, you sluggard. Consider its ways and be wise. Have you ever watched ants? They work so hard. And yes, there is a time of the day where it seems to go quiet and it seems like they go to bed and, uh, and, and, and the ants don't crawl around anymore. But then in the morning they come, they busy going in a direction, they're coming back with something for the, for the, the rest as well. And they continue to just go up and down, up and down. And, and funny enough, it says, uh, consider his ways and be wise. It has no command and no overseer or ruler. Uh, in other words, nobody is motivating them to do it. It's self-motivation. Hard work needs to be self-motivated. If somebody nags you and says, do this, please don't do this, come on now, uh, you know, and we know that we work with people from time to time like that as well, is they just continuously sit down. You continuously have to beg and plead with them to uh, apply themselves and to work hard as well. And, and the Bible compares them to maybe less than an ant, a sluggard. Uh, you know, and he says, go to the end. Nobody's supervising, nobody's commanding. Out of their own, they continue to work hard. I believe that those who work hard will also be seen, and those who work hard will be the ones who get the promotion and the blessing from God as well. So uh, don't be like a sluggard. It's mentioned twice in that passage. Don't fold your arms, but go to the ant who just works and works and works, works hard uh, with no whip. Uh, to motivate it, just self-motivation. So I pray that today as you go to work, that you would be a hard worker, that your Christian testimony at work would be one not of taking and cutting corners, but of one who's willing to give themselves to the company and uh, work hard uh, more than the others who are not believers as well. So may you be found to be like the ant today. Father, we give us the grace to be hardworking. Uh, even if there's no reward, we know that you are watching us. Uh, we know that you keep your eye on us. And we, in the end, we are working for you as believers as well. So we trust you that you would help us not to be lazy, fold our arms and wait for riches and, and wealth and provision to come to us, but to get out there and to work as you command us to do in Jesus' name. Amen.